Norman Borlaug, the father of the Green Revolution, the man who saved billions of lives worldwide. He was an American agronomist who helped increase agricultural production, saving billions. The first question we need to ask is, who is Norman Borlaug? Norman was born in Cresco, Iowa in the year 1914. He was the son of Clara and Henry Borlaug, and the brother to Palma and Charlotte Borlaug. As a boy, Norman and the Borlaug family went to the Lutheran Church in Cresco. In school, Norman had a great thirst for knowledge and spent much of his time on the farm, working with cattle and in the field. He also had a great joy for wrestling. Norman's biggest inspiration was his grandfather, Nels, married to Emma, along with three boys, his uncle Oscar, his uncle Ned, and his father, Henry. After high school, Borlaug went to the University of Minnesota from 1933 to 1942. One thing Norman really remembered was his first day there. He got all signed up for classes and situated. This was his first time in a large city. He walked around town and ended up in the middle of a big riot and got trampled. In the year 1937, he gained his bachelor's in forestry, and in 1942, he gained his Ph.D. in plant pathology and genetics. In 1937, he also met Margaret Gibson while in college and married her in 1937. The couple had three children, of whom one died in infancy. They remained happily married for 69 long years, till Margaret died in 2007. By the year 1944, he got a job down in Mexico where he was instructed to make a new type of wheat that could function and produce good yields. He struggled with lack of scientific tools. Eventually, he did create a new type of wheat that would produce good yields, could grow in almost any climate, and was disease resistant. This was a great innovation to places such as India or Pakistan where food was much more scarce. His contribution saved billions of people worldwide from starvation and dented the problem of world hunger. A quote of his was, You can't build peace on an empty stomach in human misery. I know what you're thinking. Yeah, that's great and all, but how does this apply to me? Well, because of Borlaug's research, research was also started on other crops. And now, corn, soybeans, and multiple other types of crops have been directly affected by his contributions. Because of Borlaug's impact on world hunger and agricultural innovation, he was awarded multiple medals, such as the Nobel Peace Prize, Presidential Medal of Freedom, and the U.S. Congressional Gold Medal. And lastly, he has even been given a statue in the Congress building. Although he died in 2009, he's still working to help fight world hunger and was working on a project for Africa. He has done so much for everyone in the world directly or indirectly. His legacy will live, live on. And for that, thank you. Thank you for all you have done for us.